Welcome to From the Quarries. I've received requests since the early days of this channel to produce videos looking at some of the other, or side orders, that sit outside the three craft degrees, so I thought I'd give it a go. I've come to realize that this is quite a challenging task. <laughs> My research has found that there have been well in excess of 130 rites and degrees that claim descendants from pure and ancient Freemasonry. Obviously, I'm not going to attempt all of them in this video, so I'm afraid that if your passion is for the Tobacological Order of Prizes or the Socratic Lodge of Pantheists, I'm afraid you'll just have to look elsewhere. Tonight, I will be taking a brief look at 15 orders from this list that are still in existence today. Several of them are very common, and some not so. For reasons of time, this won't be an exhaustive analysis, but it should be enough to give at least an outline of the order, its structure, and its history. I'm personally only a member of three of these orders, so I apologize in advance for any inaccuracies and especially for mispronunciations. Please use the comments to let me know what I've missed and what I've got wrong, and I know you will. That being said, I hope you enjoy this brief look at some of the other orders of Freemasonry. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's presentation, From the Quarries, an archive of Masonic lore. The Order of the Secret Monitor The Order of the Secret Monitor has an early history that is somewhat vague, but the modern system was established in London in 1887. Dr. Issachar Zachary and other distinguished London Masons, who had previously received the Secret Monitor, formed the Alfred Meadows Conclave, with Dr. Zachary as its first leader. The Grand Council of the Order of the United Kingdom was constituted on the 17th of June 1887, with Dr. Zachary as the first Supreme Grand Ruler. The Order expanded rapidly, issuing warrants in various parts of the British Empire, including Penang, Malaysia, Southern and Eastern India, Burma, Jamaica, Singapore, South Africa and Australia. The modern degree structure of the Order was consolidated during the first two years of the Grand Council's existence. Membership in the Order of the Secret Monitor is open to all Master Masons who are financial members of a regular craft lodge. The Order administers three degrees. The Brotherhood of the Secret Monitor. This degree focuses on the great and abiding friendship between David and Jonathan, emphasizing the importance of true friendship. The Prince of the Order. The second degree highlights the lesson of fidelity to fellow brethren. And the Supreme Ruler. The third degree, also known as the Chair Degree, prepares a brother for leadership responsibilities within the Order, reinforcing the relationship with his brethren as a Supreme Ruler. This degree marks a distinct departure from many other Masonic Chair Ceremonies. The Knights Templar The Knights Templar in Freemasonry is known for its colourful ceremonies, rich in symbolism and ritual providing deep meaning and lessons that members can incorporate into their daily lives. The order emphasizes knightly courtesy and commitment to one's faith, making it a prestigious group within Freemasonry. While it doesn't have a direct historical connection to the medieval Templars, its ceremonies include elements from the Crusades and the medieval ceremony of knighthood. Membership in the Knights Templar is, ex is exclusively Christian. Candidates must be Royal Archmasons, profess a belief in the Holy Trinity, and identify with the Christian faith. The full title of the Order is the United Religious Military and Masonic Orders of the Temple of St. John of Jerusalem, Palestine, Rhodes, and Malta. The degrees awarded are Knight Templar, the initial stage involving the candidate arriving at a preceptory as a pilgrim, where he takes an obligation and becomes a novice or soldier of the cross. 
This stage involves undergoing trials and tests and an act of penance. Successful candidates are then recognized as having triumphed over adversity and are made Knights of the Order in a traditional manner, donning the medieval uniform of a knight. And the Knights of Malta. Conferred at a later stage, this degree offers a colorful presentation of the long history of the Knights of Malta. The teachings in this degree are centered around the mystery of birth, life, death, resurrection, and the ascension of Jesus Christ. The Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite The Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite, also known as Scottish Constitution Freemasonry, is a Christian order within Freemasonry that emerged in France in the mid-18th century. Often referred to as Écossais Freemasonry, it is thought to have been influenced by Gaelic Masonry, possibly originating in Scotland. The ceremonies of this rite were transmitted through various countries, including the United States, the French and British West Indies, France, Italy, Spain, Belgium, Ireland, Brazil, Colombia, and Portugal, before establishing in Scotland in 1845. The Supreme Council as known today was erected a year later in 1846. This form of Freemasonry is particularly known for the Rose Croix or 18th degree, which has inspired many countries to create their own variations of the Scottish Rite degrees and to establish their own constitutions. The pathway to admission in the Scottish Rite begins with the Rose Croix or 18th degree after the conferment of the intermediate degrees from the 4th to the 17th. After a qualifying period of five years, one is eligible for promotion to the 30th degree, an honor awarded for distinguished service. Before being admitted to the 30th degree, the degrees from 19 to 29 are conferred. The Rose Croix and higher degrees are often referred to as the philosophical degrees because the lessons taught in these degrees are derived from concepts or philosophies rather than from the contemplation of the working tools as in the craft, mark and royal arts chapter degrees. The Worshipful Society of Freemasons The Worshipful Society of Freemasons, also known as the Operatives, traces its origins to the early 20th century when speculative Freemasons, some of whom were also Operative Masons, took steps to preserve guild practices that were nearing extinction. On May the 21st, 1913, the Channel Row Assemblage was formed, with Worshipful Brother Carr officiating as enthroning master under special authority issued by the Masters and signed by the Secretary of the York Division, Worshipful Brother Clement Stretton. The Society is organised into bodies termed assemblages, each consisting of one lodge from the fourth to the first degree. Membership in the Society is exclusive to Master Masons in good standing with or members of a craft lodge. Addition additionally, members must be Mark Master Masons and Royal Arch Masons under constitutions recognised by the Grand Lodge of England. The Society confers seven degrees, each with specific roles and responsibilities. Indentured Apprentice, Fellow of the Craft, Fitter and Marker, Setter Erector, in this degree a fellow is qualified to work at the site, embodying the practical emphasis as applied to the speculative degree of Mark Master. After the requisite time, they may be considered for admission to the grade of Intendant, Overseer, Superintendent and Warden. The fifth degree is the Intendant, Overseer, Superintendent and Warden. And the sixth degree, the Senior Role. A brother in this degree assumes the senior role within an assemblage following admission into a lodge. Understanding the profession thoroughly is a prerequisite for becoming a representation of the perfect cornerstone. After long or extraordinary service, a brother may be admitted to the supreme grade of Master Mason, subject to approval by three Grand Master Masons. The Society's regalia includes insignia worn by individuals and jewels provided by each assemblage for its officers, worn on a pale blue collar two inches wide. Holy Royal Arch Knight Templar Priests The Holy Royal Arch Knight Templar Priests traces its origins back to the Anahilt Union Band in County Down, Ireland in 1792. 
Over 60 Union bands have been identified in Ireland, but only a few were under the early Grand Encampment and branded with lodges. Initially known as the Priestly Order, it was mentioned in the ceremonies of the High King's Templar in Ireland in 1755 and appeared in Kilmarnock, Scotland in 1800. The order was worked in England, Scotland, Ireland, Corfu, France, the United States and Canada during the late 18th and early 19th centuries. The Joppa encampment of Knights Templar in Sunderland, England, warranted by the early Grand Conclave of Scotland in 1807, was authorised to work the Knight Templar Priest degree, among others. The Order of Knight Templar Priests was worked sporadically and came under the Council of Grand Knights Cross of the Holy Temple of Jerusalem, formed in Newcastle upon Tyne in 1845. The Order saw significant growth worldwide in recent times due to increased awareness of its existence and the beauty and the significance of its ceremonial. Membership qualifications require a candidate to be a Master Mason, Royal Archmason and a Knight Templar in good financial standing and to make a prescribed statement of faith. The Order has a single working and administrative degree of Knight Templar Priest and authority over 31 appended degrees no longer worked in other Masonic branches. It also oversees the Order of Holy Wisdom, an integral part of the Knight Templar Priests after being set aside for many years. The higher grades of the Order of Holy Wisdom are honorific for deserving Knights Templar Priests, while the first grade is a prerequisite for taking senior office within a tabernacle. These appendant degrees are demonstrated on an ad hoc basis by various tabernacles under Grand College authority. The tabernacle serves as an umbrella structure with an authority to conduct the ceremony of admitting a Knight Templar priest, demonstrating various appendant degrees, hosting the Grand Superintendent for the work of the Grand Point, and performing the ceremonial of the elaborate order of Holy Wisdom. The Masonic and Military Order of the Red Cross of Constantine the Masonic and Military Order of the Red Cross of Constantine is rooted in the historical events surrounding Emperor Constantine and the Roman Empire. The Order's history is closely linked to Constantine's vision that led to his victory at the Battle of Saxa Rubra and his subsequent conversion to Christianity. This event marked the imposition of Christianity across the Roman Empire. According to Eusebius, Bishop of Caesarea, Constantine witnessed a miraculous sign in the sky and had a dream wherein Christ appeared to him, leading to the creation of the Labarum, the imperial standard of the Roman Empire. The Order of the Red Cross of Constantine was formally recognised in London in 1808, and its current form was established by Robert Wentworth Little in 1865, spreading rapidly worldwide. The Order confers five degrees, each with deep mystical significance and considered the climax of Christian Freemasonry. 1. The Knight of the Red Cross of Constantine. This degree narrates the story of Constantine's conversion to Christianity, his divine vision, the creation of the Labarum, and his victory over the Emperor Maxentius. It revolves around the secret doctrine associated with the Labarum and reference to the Roman College of Architects. 2. The Knight of the Holy Sepulchre. Originating after St. Helena's discovery of the true cross, this degree focuses on the events between the crucifixion and the resurrection. The order is believed to be instituted by Constantine's mother, symbolizes a vigil over the Holy Sepulchre and involves the performance of the seven works of mercy. Three, the Knight of St. John the Evangelist. Based on a tradition recounted by Philostorgius, this degree relates to a significant discovery at the ruins of the Temple of Jerusalem and the founding of the Knights of St. John. It interprets the craft and royal arch ceremonies in a Christian context, representing the Old Testament and royal arch in Christian dress. 4. The College of Priests Mason Only open to knights who are eminent viceroys of a conclave, this degree represents the Bishop Eusebius. And 5 the Senate of Prince, Princes Mason, exclusively for most puissant sovereigns of a conclave. This degree represents the Emperor Constantine. 
The Rectified Scottish Rite The Rectified Scottish Rite is the oldest continuously existing chivalric or Masonic order, having adopted its current structure in 1778. It emerged from the remnants of Baron von Hunt's Rite of Strict Observance around 1754. The reorganisation of this moribund rite was decided at a convention in Colo in 1772 and it subsequently incorporated the Martinist philosophy of Jean-Baptiste Villemont, who was the principal author of its rituals. The modern form of the RER was confirmed at conventions held in Lyon in 1778 and Willemsbad in 1782, with the establishment of the mother Great Priory of Switzerland in 1779. The rite initially spread rapidly across Europe, but then waned by the mid-19th century leaving only Switzerland as its preserver until the emergence of other great priories, including those in the USA, Belgium and England. The rectified Scottish Rite aims to deepen the understanding of members' Christian faith through the profound and esoteric presentation of lessons in its rituals. It promotes a strong sense of community by fostering fraternity, benevolence, charity and a spirit of service. The Rite inspires personal involvement on intellectual, moral, and spiritual levels. Membership in the Rite is strictly invitational and open only to Master Masons who profess the Christian faith and demonstrate dedication to Freemasonry, along with a capacity to appreciate the Rite and a zeal for participation in its work. The Rite comprises six grades, with the first three, Apprentice, Companion, and Master, equivalent to the craft degrees and administered solely by the craft. The grades worked by the right are Scottish Master of St Andrew, Squire Novice and Knight Beneficent of the Holy City. The first grade completes symbolic masonry while the latter two are chivalric and constitute the inner order of the right. Admission to the grade of St Andrew requires a two-year period of active service, after which a member might be considered for reception as a Squire Novice. Entry into the inner order is not solicited and another service of period is required before a novice can be considered for elevation to knight. Royal and Select Masters The degrees of Royal Master and Select Master within the Royal and Select Masters emerged nearly 200 years ago. Initially these degrees were conferred by travelling Masonic lecturers throughout the East while they instructed in craft lodges and capitular or chapter degrees. One of the Supreme Councils of the Scottish Rite even included the degree of Select Master as one of its detached degrees. The legends and allegories conveyed in these degrees revolve around the vaults or crypts beneath King Solomon's Temple, forming a critical link between the degrees of Master Mason and Royal Archmason. These degrees are therefore sometimes referred to as cryptic degrees, although this description is not strictly accurate, as only two of them actually refer to a crypt. The order works four degrees. Select Master. This degree's narrative is set in the fifth year of the building of King Solomon's Temple, and it involves the construction of the secret vault to safeguard the sacred treasures and other important artifacts of the Jewish people. The degree centers around the story of a craftsman who accidentally enters this vault and is subsequently pardoned and admitted to an elite band of select masters. Royal Master Conferred in two parts, this degree starts with a conversation between Hiram Abiff and Adoniram about death. It continues after Hiram Abiff's death, highlighting the challenge faced by King Solomon and King Hiram of Tyre in communicating the Master's word. This degree illuminates both the Master Mason and the Holy Royal Arch degrees. Most Excellent Master This degree is focused on the dedication of the temple to the glory of God, where King Solomon rewards some of his most skilled craftsmen with the rank of Most Excellent Master. And Super Excellent Master Although not originally part of the cryptic order, and not presented in all jurisdictions, this degree is considered one of Masonry's best written rituals. It deals with events during the reign of King Nebuchadnezzar and the conquest and captivity of Zedekiah, the last king of Judah. 
This degree emphasizes the lesson of fidelity, bringing to life various biblical characters and events in a dramatic fashion. Societas Rosicruciana in Anglia The Societas Rosicruciana in Anglia, a modern Masonic society, is founded on the writings and philosophy of the medieval fraternities of the Rosy Cross, the Pharma Fraternitatis and the Confessio Fraternitatis. There is no concrete evidence linking the medieval fraternities directly to the SRIA. However, societies identifying themselves as Rosicrucians have been noted from the 17th century onwards. The first definite date in SRIA's history is December the 31st, 1866, when English Freemasons William James Hewan and Robert Wentworth Little were initiated into the Societas Rosicruciana in Scotia. Following this, the Rosicrucian Society of England was established on the 1st of June, 1867 in London, with Frater Little assuming the title of Supreme Magus. The Society's goal is to aid in solving life's great problems and uncovering the secrets of nature. It focuses on studying the philosophy based on Kabbalah and the doctrine of Hermes Trismegistus as taught by the Fratres Rosicrucius around 1450. The SRIA is a ritual-based research fraternity that emphasizes research and encourages its members to present papers and engage in discussions on a variety of subjects, thereby combining ceremonial activities, personal study, and reflective discussions in its pursuit of knowledge. Aspirants to the SRIA must be master masons in good standing and adhere to the fundamental principles of the Christian faith. This requirement reflects the society's alignment with Christian principles and Masonic traditions. The SRIA is divided into nine grades divided into three orders. The first order, comprising grades one to four, where the members are considered learners. The second order, comprising grades five to seven, with members regarded as teachers. And the third order, consisting of grades eight and nine, where members are seen as leaders of the society. The Royal Order of Scotland. The Royal Order of Scotland's recorded history dates back to the period between 1725 and 1741 in London where it was referred to as the Scotch Herodom or Ancient or Honourable Order of Kilwinning. It's believed that the first chapter of the Order of Herodom of Kilwinning was held in Edinburgh in 1764, although no meeting minutes from that time exist. The present Grand Lodge of the Royal Order of Scotland was established in 1767. The Order's traditional history dates its origin back to the time of King Robert the Bruce and the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314. The Royal Order of Scotland was established to correct errors and reform abuses that had crept into the three degrees of St John's or craft masonry. The Order is distinctly Christian and Trinitarian in its orientation. The ritual of its degrees is delivered in catechetical form between the provincial Grand Master or his deputy in the East and the two wardens in the West. The ceremonial ritual is delivered in an ancient versified form, touching on most, if not all, of the degrees and orders practiced in Freemasonry. Membership of the Royal Order of Scotland is by invitation from current members and may be extended to suitably qualified Master Masons who profess a belief in Trinitarian Christianity. The order consists of two degrees. Herodom of Kilwinning, this degree has two parts, passing of the bridge, followed by admission to the Cabinet of Wisdom, and Knighthood of the Rosy Cross. Presented in the Provincial Grand Lodge, candidates admitted into the Herodom of Kilwinning at meetings during the year are admitted to the Knighthood of the Rosy Cross at the installation meeting each year. The Grand Council of Knight Masons the Grand Council of Knight Masons, established in 1923, is responsible for maintaining degrees that were previously worked by Irish Royal Arch Chapters, preceptories of High Knight Templars, and even a Prince Rose Choir Chapter. 
Night masonry encompasses degrees conducted in a council of night masons under the jurisdiction of the Grand Council. The Grand Council of Night Masons administers three degrees, previously known as Red Cross degrees, but now recognized as the Knight of the Sword, originally the Red Cross of Daniel or Babylonian Pass, the Knight of the East, formerly the Jordan Pass, and the Knight of the East and West, previously known as the Royal Order. To become a Knight Mason, one must be a Master Mason, a Mark Master Mason, and a Royal Arch Mason. After one year, Master Masons who meet these criteria may request to join a Council of Knight Masons. The Royal Order of Eri The Royal Order of Eri is thought to have originated from an ancient order in Ireland consisting of Freemasons. It is believed to have been established and patronised by the Kings of Ireland based on claims that ancient Ireland, or Erin, had a rich lit literature and history. This order is associated with the English Revived Order of the Red Branch of Erie, once headed by Brother John Yarker. In the United States, the Red Branch of Erie degree is controlled under the USA Grand Council of Allied Masonic Degrees. The order confers three degrees on its members, which are Man-at-Arms, Esquire, and Knight, and these degrees are all conferred on the candidate during the meeting when they join the order. Membership in the Royal Order of Erie is strictly by invitation. To be invited, a candidate must hold a minimum of the fifth grade in the Societas Rosicruciana in Anglia. The regalia of the order includes a gilt metal Celtic cross worn on the left breast and a sash of four bands of colour worn around the waist. The enlightened Knight Commander wears a green cloak and a sash of five colours, along with the jewel of the order suspended from a collaret around the neck. The Masonic Order of Athelstan The Masonic Order of Athelstan, a relatively recent addition to Freemasonry, was constituted in England in 2005. It is based on the legend of King Athelstan, the first king of all England, who, according to Masonic legend, was responsible for convening a meeting of Masons at York in 926 AD to regulate and standardise the practice of the craft. This event is often cited as a key moment in the development of organised Freemasonry. The Order's ceremonies are based around this meeting and the historical context of King Athelstan's reign. The Order works two degrees, Installed Master and Knight of Athelstan. Membership in the Masonic Order of Athelstan is by invitation only. Candidates must be Master Masons and members of the Holy Royal Arch. They should also demonstrate an interest in Masonic history and ritual. The regalia of the Order includes a tabard worn over white tunic and trousers, symbolising the attire of an Anglo-Saxon nobleman. Members also wear a jewel of the Order, which is a representation of the jewel purportedly given by King Athelstan to the first Grand Master Mason. The Masonic Order of Athelstan, with its unique historical bias and ceremonial richness, offers members an opportunity to explore a significant period in the legendary history of Freemasonry, enhancing their understanding of the craft's ancient roots. The Commemorative Order of St. Thomas of Akon The Commemorative Order of St. Thomas of Akon was founded in 1974 by Charles G. K. Beach, a well-known Masonic scholar. The order recreates the spirit of the ancient military and religious orders of the Hospital of St. Thomas of Akon, originally established during the Crusades. The original order of St. Thomas of Akon, named after Thomas Becket, the martyred Archbishop of Canterbury, was founded in the 12th century in Acre, in the Holy Land. Its purpose was to care for sick pilgrims and to defend the Christian territories in the Middle East. After the fall of Acre in 1291, the order's importance diminished and it was eventually absorbed into the Order of the Knights of St. John. The modern Masonic Order of St. Thomas seeks to commemorate and symbolise the ideals of the medieval order, focusing on chivalry and charity. It is particularly noted for its unique ceremonial work, which reflects the historical and chivalric themes of the Crusades era. 
To be eligible for membership in the Order of St. Thomas, one must be a Master Mason in good standing and to have been exalted into a Holy Royal Arts Chapter. The Order of St. Thomas confers only one degree, but it is rich in symbolism and historical context. The degree ceremony involves the candidate's symbolic journey, reflecting the experiences of medieval knights. It focuses on the theme of pilgrimage, chivalry, and Christian virtues, culminating in the candidate being admitted as a Knight of the Order. The ceremony is known for its elaborate and dramatic rituals, which include references to the historical order and the story of Thomas Becket. The degree work is highly regarded for its depth and its ability to convey the spirit of medieval knighthood in a contemporary Masonic context. The August Order of Light The August Order of Light is a Masonic order that finds its inspiration in Vedic scriptures, particularly the Upanishads. This order is unique in its incorporation of Eastern philosophical concepts within a Masonic context. Its origin dates back to 1898 in Benares, India, under the guidance of Dr. Morris Vidal Portman, a notable Freemason and a British naval officer. Portman established this order to bridge Eastern and Western esoteric traditions, integrating the spiritual insights from Hinduism with Masonic principles. The August Order of Light originally catered to British Freemasons stationed in India during the colonial period. It was designed to create a deeper understanding of Eastern spiritual wisdom among Western Freemasons. Over time, it has gained recognition and spread, albeit still relatively limited compared to other Masonic orders. The qualifications for membership in the August Order of Light include being a Master Mason in good standing, having been exalted into a Holy Royal Arts Chapter, and in some cases, additional requirements related to Masonic experience and knowledge. The emphasis is on a genuine interest and respect for Eastern spiritual traditions, alongside a solid foundation in Masonic principles. The August Order of Light confers three degrees, each reflecting a stage of spiritual enlightenment as interpreted through Masonic symbolism and Vedic teachings. The degree of Brahma, focusing on the creation of the world and the search for divine light. This degree introduces the candidate to Vedic concepts through Masonic ritual. The degree of Vishnu. This degree emphasizes the preservation of the universe and the role of divine sustenance. It teaches the principles of good conduct and righteousness, Dharma. And the degree of Shiva, representing transformation and regeneration, this degree is about the cycle of destruction and creation, leading to a deeper understanding of the universe's impermanence and the eternal nature of the soul. Each degree incorporates elements of Vedic rituals and mantras, and candidates are expected to gain not only Masonic knowledge, but also an appreciation of Eastern spirituality.